Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is this. This is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I just ran out of this and so I bought a new one. I only buy the travel size. Travel size costs $12. The full size I think costs like $29. Um, it's a little less than half the product. I think this is two milliliters versus five. However, it took me forever to use the first one. And I mean, I got use out of it for well over a year, almost two. So uh, I don't need to buy the full size. It'll probably dry out before I actually would finish it if I did. So I'm just sticking with this one, but I really enjoy it. And I'm glad I finally picked a new one up this week. And now onto the video. So for today's video, I was chatting with my coworkers. I'm trying to do all my pre-filming this week because I'll be traveling back home starting next week. So I wanted to make sure I got everything taken care of as soon as possible. And I was looking for some ideas because I, I have some stuff I definitely want to do, but then there's some other things I'm like, well, whatever I feel like doing today is what I'll do. And this is a suggestion from my coworker, Spencer. So this one's for you, buddy. So today's video is going to be about using your makeup in unconventional ways. So he was curious as to whether I could put things like eyeshadow on my lips or like lipstick on my eyes. I'm like, well, technically you can. Some stuff is not necessarily eye safe, but as long as you are careful about how you're doing it, uh, you can use products in an unconventional way on your face. So that's what we're going to try out today. So first up, I want to tackle my blush. So what we're going to use is my Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. Uh, I have used lipstick before as a blush if necessary, but it's not something I do on a regular basis. However, I thought this one might be good because it's a very sort of sheer wash of color, but it will also give a little bit of sheen to my face, and I'm very, very dry right now. The sun is very hot. I did get a little bit of a tan this week, and also we were going in the pool, and our pool is heavily chlorinated, so everybody sort of needs to put a ton of lotion on at the end of the day. So I'm going to try a little bit of this. I'm just going to put a little bit on like the apples of my cheeks, and we'll blend that out with my finger. I'm assuming this is going to work very similarly to some of the multi-use sticks I have tried out recently. Uh, while I don't necessarily love the multi-use cheek and lip products, I, I don't think this one is going to do too badly. I actually quite like the effect of that. <laughs> it's a little darker than I would normally go on like my regular everyday blush, but it went on really smoothly because it has like the emollient factor to it because it is a lip product. And sort of it's it's almost like a lip balm it's not quite like a full-on lip product i actually think it looks very pretty on the cheek so i have previously talked about the fact that the stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows i feel like the liquid highlighters look pretty much the same so i haven't actually tried to use one of those as a highlighter but i'm going to because the highlighter version of this product i'm not really sure what's different about it only that there's a little bit more in the bottle but it also costs more so let's try this instead so I picked the shade Smoky Storm. I thought that was sort of the uh, most neutral of my super shimmeries because it's sort of like a champagne-y shimmer. You know, it's a glitter highlighter. How subtle is it going to be, honestly? So I think I'm just going to tap this on my cheek a little bit and then try to blend it out and see what happens. It's definitely not subtle, that's for sure. Let's try the other side. Well, it's definitely a much heavier hand on this side, so I sort of feel like I have to go all in on the other side as well. So one second. At first glance, it kind of resembles like the Cover FX glitter drops, but it's not as finely milled, and so you do definitely have little chunks of glitter sitting on your cheek. So it's not necessarily the prettiest. However, you know, it gets the job done. So next we're going to move on to eyes. Now, I'm just going to put a caveat out. Some of this stuff is not necessarily eye safe. It's not labeled as such. You're not necessarily supposed to put it on your eyes. So if you're planning on doing any of these things, that's on your own business. You know, I'm doing this for fun, um, and I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to put anything too close to my lash line without blending it out, and I'm not going to be doing anything like waterline stuff. Like, I don't like to do that anyway, uh, but, you know, if you try to do this, just be careful and, you know, read what's in your products and don't use anything silly. Uh, do not take me as an example of, you know, what to do with yourself. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to use some of this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Love. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the eye and try to blend that out with my finger. A little of this goes a long way. <laughs> We're going to have some cleaning up to do. All right, we've got our base on, and now I'm going to fix what I messed up. <laughs> I'll say this, this stuff blends really, really well. Too well, one might say. I do really like the pigmentation on this, as the lipstick. However, uh, it's a little hard to control, so I wouldn't say it's my favorite kind of formula. We're gonna go with a little more lipstick though. We're gonna make this as fun as possible. This is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle. I'm gonna take a little bit of this in the center of the lid. This is the shade Candy Venom. I thought it would be a good match with the LUV. Next we're gonna move on to the Sephora Lip Stories in the shade Ouch. This is sort of like a metallic shimmer green. And I'm gonna try to use that to sort of blend out this brow bone a little bit. I'm also gonna take a little on the inner corner highlight and try to lighten that up. 
I actually really like the way the Sephora Lip Stories blends under th on the eye. Uh, it makes a really nice brow bone highlight and uh, it looks good on the inner corner. Uh, the pink I think was not quite the right shade, but I didn't expect it to be quite so intense on the lid. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't, so uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll move on from there. And last up, we're going to go on to lips, and uh, we're going to do that with some eyeshadow. So I decided to pick the most interesting eyeshadow palette I'm carrying with me right now. Uh, we're going to go all in on this one today. So I'm thinking if I've got all this pink and green on the eyes, I should probably put some blue and maybe some purple on the lips. And this may be cheating a bit, but I'm actually going to take a little bit of that at Clinique Black Honey just to give myself something on the list to get this to stick. I'm going to start with the shade Fiji. I really kind of love this shadow as a lip product. Um, I, I, I'm, I have to say I'm really <laughs> enjoying it. I know the whole look together is, is a lot, but that's okay. So now we're gonna add a little bit more of the purple shade as well. We're gonna go with that indigo shade. I'm gonna add a little bit of that, and I think I may top a little bit more with the Fiji. I wanna blend together. So that is with indigo on top, and then I'm just taking Fiji again just to tap on the center. And there you have it, there's my completed look. I have to be honest, I really love this lip look. It's great. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to try this again. These shadows blend very nicely on the lips. They look really beautiful and metallic and really cool. So uh, I'm a big fan of this Violet Voss palette. And if I use it on my lips like this, even just for like a night out, for like for fun, like I didn't realize it was going to be quite so pigmented. So I'm definitely going to do that again. Uh, I'd say for the eye makeup, I don't think that my Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks are the best thing to use as an eye makeup. They were kind of hard to control and kind of made the eye look a, a bit of a mess. And I'm afraid they might stain my eyelids a little bit too. I actually did like using the Sephora Lip Stories on my eye. That was pretty good. Um, the Fenty Beauty was fine. I didn't use a lot, just a little bit in the center. Um, probably not my first choice on that either. But I did like the Sephora Lip Stories. It feels nice on the lids. Uh, in terms of the blush, I really did like the way that the Clinique Black Honey looks, so I might actually try that again, especially if I forget my blush, which happens sometimes. Um, as for the Stila Glitter and Glows as a highlighter, I mean, it's funny because there's a lot of glitter on there, but I would be more likely to use my Cover FX Glitter Drops because those are a much better quality, at least as far as I am concerned. Uh, but in a pinch, it definitely does work. So anyway, <laughs> there's my look. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see me do, please put that in the comments down below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.